Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the Pre Avengers here, guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Future Fight video. Where today, guys, we're talking about the tier two advancement ticket that you'll be getting from the 2023 event. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, there's four days left, so at this point, if you don't know about it, you probably aren't going to get the rewards. Sorry to say, but if you have been keeping up with it, there's four days left. Uh, make sure to get the last candles. Um, I have, let's see here. I have two more to get, uh, five world bosses for today, and then I got just got to do a couple more dimension mission, and I'll get it. So I'm going to give you guys my top 10 recommendations to use the tier 2 mega advancement ticket on. So let's get straight into this. So you probably know that you probably have a bunch of premium characters that you can only get from the selector bios, or from uh, a certain epic quest, or that you have to, in general, pay crystals for, like uh, Magicka and or like Blue Dragon, sorry, like Blue Dragon. Um, and they're really good. Um, they're not like you need them, but they are still pretty good, some of these characters. And this Tier 2 ticket allows you to get them to Tier 2, which then you can go use to go get them to Tier 3, Transcended, Level 80, Tier 4, whatever you want to do with them. So I'm giving you my top 10 recommendations. Um, they're sort of in order. Um, I didn't plan too much of them in order, but they are pretty much in the order that I would suggest getting them. Now, it all depends on your account, so these are my top 10, but the top 10 list for you guys might look a little different uh, because it's not the requirements that you need or not the characters that you need. Um, so let's get straight on into this. So at number 10 here, I would suggest Magicka. Um, she just got a brand new uniform. It's only out during Christmas, though, um, so you'd have to wait till Christmas. That is why she's at the bottom. Plus, she is not all that great. Um, she's sort of decent for PvP, uh, but all the Tier 4s and whatnot need to be basically uh, restricted. Um, but she's decent, um, but she's at the bottom because she's not the best, and you need that uh, uniform that's seasonal. Then at number 9, here's Magneto. He's really good, guys. Don't get me wrong. But that uniform is also seasonal, so that's why he's at the bottom of the list. Um, it's really hard uh, to do well with him with these other uniforms that are older. Uh, even at level 80 and tier 4, uh, you really need that new uniform as well. And because it's seasonal, uh, that's why I don't suggest it. Plus, you can get his bios just by clearing uh, the little mission that you get from the Epic Quest. Uh, so when you go to the Epic Quest for um, Magneto... You actually unlock this mutinal enemy, and you can clear it, and you can get his bios, and you get a lot of them, a pretty decent and solid amount. Uh, that's the only reason why I'm saying um, that he's going to be at number nine here. Now we're going to move on to number eight on the list. We got Polaris. She's pretty good for ABX and ABL. Uh, there's better characters, but she's still pretty solid. Um, the other thing is she has a really nice leadership if we take a look at it. Um, there it is. The all basic attack increased by 20% to mutant types. So yeah, she's a pretty good leadership for mutant types, and that's why she's at number 8. Uh, but she just doesn't have enough value for everything else, uh, so that's precisely why I put her at 8. Then here, at number 7, I'm going to be putting Ironheart. Um, she's a really good support character, especially for Blast. Uh, she has this leadership uh, for all Blast types. It's like 55% uh, basic attack or energy attack, something like that. Um, but I just know it's really good. And she has a support to other characters as well. She has some sort of passive with the new uniform. Uh, so that's really good, guys. And she, as, as a standalone character doing damage, she's pretty good. Not to mention, she's really fun to play, guys, especially with the new uniform. Um, and th these, the rest of these uniforms are not seasonal. So you can buy them and you'll be set. So that's number seven, correct? Yeah, number seven. So then now we're going to number six. Um, I forgot to favorite him uh, to show you guys, but my next suggestion here would be Nick Fury, if I can find him. Yes, because he is a really good support character. He'll help your dimension uh, rift time uh, go down. You'll be able to clear a lot faster with him on your team. Plus, the Secret Invasion show is coming out this uh, year, so we'll most likely get a brand new uniform for Nick Fury when that update comes out. Uh, there's not much else to be said. That's why he's at number six. So now we are at number five, which is Agent Venom. Um, I can't find him. There he is. I don't have him unlocked yet, but he's really good uh, support for Venom, so that's basically why he's on this list. Plus, uh, he's really good for Carnage as well, and he has a little bit of PvP value. He can take out a couple uh, characters while also boosting 
a Carnage a lot. So if you're trying to run a Carnage team for PvP, you definitely want Agent Venom, and he's a great support. Um, I know he's limited to these both to both of these characters, but because he's just such a great support for them, I had to put him up here. And because he has a little bit of value there in PvP, he can take out a couple characters. He's not like Colossus where he gets rolled every single time. So that's number five, leaving us with four characters left. We got Blue Dragon, Echo, Carnage, and Namar. So at number four here, I'm going to put Echo. She's a great, great speed, um, what's it called, character, uh, speed support. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. She's a great speed support, guys, especially with the new uniform. I mean, probably the best speed uh, support. And right now, she's going to have a lot of value with that with Tier 4 Spider-Man and with Tier 4 Ant-Man coming soon. So I highly recommend that you guys get her built. Uh, I will be building her with uh, the bio sub that I have. Um, but with the Tier 2 ticket, you won't need a bio sub. You can get her there instantly. Um, but yeah, that's why she's at number 4. At number 3 here, I'm going to... Mm, this is tough now. This is where it gets really hard. But uh, I'm going to put Blue Dragon here uh, at number 3. Um, she's really good, uh, for PvE, uh, a little slow sometimes, but still good, and with, uh, Sunbird and his artifact, she gets a second life in PvP, giving her a lot of value there as well, uh, obviously loses spot there having to use Sunbird, but still really good value, and because she's a tier 4 and, and can go to level 80, that puts her really high up on this list. At number 2 here, I'm gonna put no more, um, even though I really like him, and it pains me to put him only at number 2, um, there's a reason for that. Um, he obviously goes to level 80, tier 4, so that's why he's so high up here. Um, but he's really good, uh, for ABX and ABL. And then everything else is just kind of eh. He has no, uh, presence in timeline in PvP. Um, and he's solid, uh, for World Boss Legend. So if you need a combat villain, I mean, he's good. But you also have Venom, who does a lot better in some cases. Uh, but the only thing I do like about him is that he's the only current tier 4 that really needs a judgment to work the best. Um, so that's why I like it being more flexible. You don't have to have a rage for him for him to be good in PvE. Um, so that's why he's at number 2. Then at number 1 here is Carnage. He is so good for PvP. Um, amazing even uh, with his brand new uniform. Um, especially with that second life. It's great. Um, and you can pretty much put a, a lot of different types of CTPs. A greed, a refinement. Uh, regen, uh, there's a lot of different ones that he can work with, uh, but he's really good for PvP, guys. Um, so that's why he's at my number one. Maybe uh, I'm wrong. It's up to you guys, really, uh, to determine that, but that's my top 10 list. The only thing I will say is once you use the uh, Tier 2 Mega Ticket on them, when trying to upgrade their uniforms, they will need more bios. So if you have the uniform uh, rank up tickets like these ones available, Definitely save those for your premium characters and whoever you decide to use your mega tier 2 rank up ticket on. Uh, because, you know, you're not going to be able to get these bios any other way unless you go buy the bio sub. But if you're using the bio sub, you should be using it to get other characters uh, like these ones that I've gotten here. Or building a character like I am for Nick Fury. Um, but you really shouldn't be using it for the uniforms. Uh, you want to save your uniform tickets for that. It's just kind of a waste of your money. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that about these uh, uniforms. But that's my top 10 list. Uh, let me know if you guys disagree or agree. Um, I personally be using it on Valkyrie. I forgot Valkyrie. Oh my gosh, how did I forget Valkyrie? I think I did top 11 then. Okay, Valkyrie, the best support. So I'd have to put her at number three. Uh, she'll move everyone else down. Um, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I did mention her. I don't know. But one of the best supports in the game. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know how I almost missed her. One of the best supports of the game. So, yeah, Echo would move down, and then she'd go number three. Uh, no, she'd go number four, and then Blue Dragon, then Namor, and then Carnage. 100% my bad, guys. <laughs> so, just to cap it off here, and I have the uh, list written down as well on the screen here for you guys. We got number one Namor. We got number number one Namor. Number one Carnage. Number two Namor. Number three Blue Dragon. Number four, Valkyrie. Number five, Echo. Uh, number six was, uh, I want to say Nick Fury. And then number seven, Ironheart. Uh, number eight here, we got Polaris. Number, uh, no, no, no. Number eight was Agent Venom. Number nine was Polaris. Um, and then Magneto, oh, Magneto, and then Magicka at the end. So yeah, I had a top 11 on accident. My bad, guys. Um, 
But yeah, um, I may have said it wrong. I may have butchered it, but whatever's on the screen, that's the right list. Because uh, <laughs> I'll go back and watch it later to make sure uh, I really look at my rankings and see what I originally said. Uh, but yeah, I did screw that up. My bad, guys. Anyways, that'll do it for the video. Let me know down in the comment section below who you use your mega two tier, uh, mega tier two ticket on, and let me know if this video was helpful to you or not. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll see you later. Check me out on Twitch as well. Take care.